What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about some Scream 6 big, gigantic cast of news that just dropped today. Two more cast members were announced. Samara Weaving is actually on board for Scream 6. No, I didn't stutter. Samara Weaving, yes, Samara Weaving is in Scream 6. After failing to join Scream 5 after she was, I guess they wanted her, because I remember she made a comment about they were talking about it, but their schedules couldn't work out, and it was a bummer. And she talked about it, but unfortunately, because of scheduling, she couldn't do it. Now she's going to get to do it. Samara Weaving, yes, is cast in Scream 6 alongside Spider-Man No Way Home star Tony Rivellori, who many of you who have seen the Spider-Man No Way Home or Homecoming series, MCU Spider-Man movies, you know who that is. And I think a lot of you also are probably familiar with him if you see if you've seen the movie Dope where he's also starring alongside some other people. I, I don't remember their names, but you, you, you know the movie I'm talking about where it relates to the kid growing up in the slums and he's trying to go to Harvard. He's in that movie as well. Tony, from what I've seen, is a very tremendous young actor, and I can't wait to see what he brings to the table in this upcoming screen movie. As for Samara Weaving, honestly, I think that is a big get for this series. You know, but people are still uncertain about Nev Campbell being in the movie or not. I still, again, believe wholeheartedly that she will appear in this this movie but despite that if she's not in it this is a big gain a lot of people are still going to denounce the power of certain characters or actresses like a samara weaving because they don't want to be fair in how they are talking about certain stars so bringing in samara weaving after losing someone like nev campbell who again is a big part of this franchise i would say that's a big giant win that's a big win for you. Samara Weaving, I, I don't think this is anything that's last minute. I think Samara Weaving has, has, of course, always been a part of the cast. Tony Revolori has always been a part of the cast. I don't think they're filming and actively still rallying up their cast. These are just new cast members that have been revealed. Maybe Samara actually even showed up on set, and that's how Bloody Disgusting was able to report this today, because this is coming to us from Bloody Disgusting, who's able to exclusively reveal that she indeed will be starring in the movie. Now, she, of course, starred in Radio Silence, bigger hit movie or movie that people still love comparing comparing it and get what got them excited for screen five ready or not she's also from the babysitter and the babysitter sequel ash versus evil dead so this is a this is a win for people who are fans of samara weaving they are going to show up they are going to show up i'm not saying she's going to make a gigantic monumental impact at the box office but i can see how the Samara Weaving fandom, because again, don't downplay fandom, the power of fandom with certain actresses and actors, they will show up and put their butts in those seats. They don't care what the material is. They will support that star and whatever the project is. So, you know, I think this is a big win. I think this is a big win for them. I'm excited to see what role she plays. I've seen people theorize that this is Stu Mocker's sister. I think she's honestly too young. Doesn't mean, of course, that they couldn't have had another kid, I guess. And I guess just, you know, raise a second child. And that's why she's so young. So like thinking she's Leslie Mocker, I guess it's a possibility. But I also don't think the chances of that happening are too high. Only because, again, she she's very young. If Leslie Mocker is is who I think Leslie Mocker is, given that she's Vince's mom, then I don't think Vince's mom would be that young with a child who's also this young as well. And a, clearly an adult now is also flirting with high school girls so like there's some there's already some logic holes there so i don't think she'll be leslie mocker if she is she is but she might just be again a reporter i think i've touched on this or some people have theorized about this samara weaving starring as a reporter who's trying to show up gail or something i'd love to see something like that or maybe samara weaving is just a friend of sam that sam met in new york after she moved to new york with tara for tara to go to school and this is just one of sam's friends or something from a group that relates to Sam because I'm assuming Samara is going to play a older adult and not someone who's in college although she could still do that because college is also open for older adults as well not just people who are freshly 18 and going off from high school into their future endeavors anyone of all ages can attend college so maybe she actually is a college student but I'm hoping that she is starring as a reporter in the movie and she's hopefully most likely there's a, there's a chance she could be the killer but I don't see her being the killer. I don't see her being the killer in this movie. I think, honestly, the role she will play will be something that's very minor. 
when considering all the stars that are already in this movie and all the character development that probably will be thrown to the wayside with all of these survivors that are here i'm already thinking about what one of the cons could be similar to scream 5 i think the biggest con for scream 6 will just come out to be character development for me you have a jam-packed group of survivors now and we're constantly tossing in these new characters that also are going to need breathing room but of course if they're just here for the body count they don't really need that development but hopefully we get to the point where there's a there's enough of compelling well-developed arcs for our survivors and also some interesting arcs with a few new interesting characters i don't want all of the new characters to be just there for the body count i don't want that i want them to be developed i want them to be fleshed out they can still die but make their deaths have some emotional weight to it i get this is a slasher movie and the chances of what i'm talking about are probably slim considering whatever the runtime might be but i'm really just hoping for some better character development this time around that's really my only biggest complaint with screen five the character development there are of course other issues with it as well my biggest thing that i really love and i think a lot of you will hear that from me often when you listen to some of my reviews i love character development i love fleshing out characters i love us getting giving arcs to characters something for your audience to latch on to and say yes i want to root for them or no i despise them something that gets me excited for the path that they're about to go on in scream six i hope samara is giving something like that something tells me even if it's something very minimal she still will be somebody who has a significant impact on the story somehow even if the narrative that she has to work with is very minimal or the role that she has i meant to say is very minimal she'll still be somebody who makes a substantial impact in the long the long spectrum of things as far as like what unfolds maybe there's a chance of that but as far as the other individual who again landed himself a role tony i don't know what he could be doing maybe he's starring in the movie as rory because there was this character we we were told was named rory that would be starring in, that would be a character in the movie so we'll see if he actually starring as rory no official character names have been revealed i know there was that character sheet that i made a video talking about and speculating on but there's been no actual official announcement from anyone involved with the production saying that these are actual character names so we'll see how true any of this stuff ends up being uh when it relates to character names but samara weaving she is in scream six that is a significant w i believe that this is going to be a giant push for people at the box office depending on how they market this and maybe use her for marketing reasons but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links from social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video